you make it to like 11 o'clock and then you're like, I'm just going to take a little baby nap. Welcome back to the Big Dane Podcast. Are you ready for another episode? So did you have a lovely Christmas? And even before that, maybe you celebrated some Hanukkah. Yeah, maybe Kwanzaa, all the holidays. But, but really, did you have a lovely time with your family? Were you able to do anything? Kind of did a mix of things over here, did a little Zoom. Um, we actually exchanged, we like swapped our gifts on 23rd. So my parents and my brother came over real quick, um, exchanged the gifts and I'm like, all right, don't open them. You know, let's wait until Christmas. We'll do the Zoom and we'll, you know, each um, and every one of us will, will open everything up. Um, and then it was kind of fun because my, my parents stayed, so we, it was warmer that night, if you remember at all, but since we have a fire pit, we end up eating outside. Yeah, because we were too, little, you know, just got to keep our distance and all that. Um, so we had some old wine, we had a limon. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty great because... I don't know, I was trying to think of like, what can we have outside that might be a little bit easier to eat, you know, quesadilla, duh. Um, yeah, plus my parents hadn't, haven't had it in a while, so we kind of were feeling some of that, um, which was fun. And then, yeah, Christmas Day, we just um, did the whole Zoom, and then we actually went over to Matt's parents and an exchange too, so it was nice, we got to see everyone. Uh, Christmas Eve, you ask? No, nada. Didn't do anything. I think that was the night we actually watched Elf on DVD. I <laughs> know, oh, who still has DVDs? Yeah, but only a few, only a few. Because I actually thought I threw everything out and then I was like, oh, I actually still have this. So, so it was all good and fun and then I actually end up going over to Kanchi uh, Seafood Company. I actually had put an order uh, last week, so it'd be ready for Christmas Eve. So we did a little seafood, you know, and pasta. It's pretty great. Um, so I want to hear what you guys were doing. Um, and now, this week is New Year's Eve. What? <laughs> like, these days, they're just fine but I'm so glad I took off so it's nice to just have extra time and I can even do extra things with my podcast and stuff so it's nice to to do that um so I'm gonna tell you just some things that you know I typically do for for New Year's Eve um and then yeah we'll just see what you guys think so I feel like normally with my friends, it's always like last minute, no one really knows like what anyone's doing. And it's like, now it's like two days before, like, so, so what are you doing? Unless, unless something like someone's definitely having a party where they plan this, like, weeks prior and it's like yeah let's all go to this a lot of times it's like you know what what are we doing so I feel like a lot of the times too it's kind of a mix like one year maybe we'll stay in and hang out with friends and family keep it all chill um and then maybe the next year we'll change it up and go out or even go out to someone's house like maybe it is like more of a party instead of something like more low-key and then get a little dressed up and have fun that way so 
I will say, um, I really enjoyed, let's see, I guess it was New Year's Eve 2018. Um, so not like last year, but the year prior. So, you know, with the ease and the new year, it's like, well, what year is it? You know, I don't know. So we had, it was Abby's family was over. So I was still in Havertown. And then it was just like my family came over and then Matt was there too. And we did a whole uh, Spanish food theme. So like everyone um kind of like helped out and like I made uh gazpacho which was really good um and then um so Abby's brother Ian is a chef so he helped Scott kind of make a lot of like the other little tapas so we had like the jamon croquettes and we had um I think paella I want to say I think so um but yeah it was a nice change of pace to like have a theme and just you know enjoy ourselves and we don't have to worry about being somewhere at like a specific time and like the crowded you know room or dealing with other people and maybe a fist fight comes out when you're out I don't know maybe um got in the hair it's like a, have a little, it's like a little rat tail. Like, what is this? Hair's just falling. Oh, um, yeah, so that was a fun time. And then, then, so last year, the Roaring Twenties, I thought it was going to be great. Well, look at us now. Um, no, but we went to Matt's friend's house, um, down in the city. So that was a lot of fun just to like get out and meet new people. And so this was a friend that he's been like off and on in touch with, um, over the years because they went to high school together. So it was kind of fun to like meet some of like his old friends and things. And then also just like meet new people and just like enjoy doing that. Um, so that was like one of the best nights I feel like for a New Year's party. Like everyone got dressed up, you know, I did like a little flapper dress. And this was a dress like that I actually wore, have worn like multiple times. Um, Cause you know, sometimes you get a dress for like one occasion and then when else are you gonna wear this dress? Never. So this was one that I was like, wow, this is probably like my fifth time wearing this dress. It was like sequency and it was like three quarter length, right? And yeah, and then I had a little, like a little feather thing coming out of my hair and a little like rhinestone like headband. So it's pretty great. I'll have to send you some pics or show you, maybe do a little flashback by the day, you know? But yeah, I just remember, like, by the end of the night, like, it was, like, best friends of, like, these two girls, and it was, like, hilarious, and then we exchanged numbers, and it was just, like, so fun. It was, like, wow, I'm making, like, adult friends, and now you're probably asking, well, have you even hung out? Not yet, but I tried. I did text her a couple times, like, early on, but, if, um, of course, like, let me think. So, one was like near my birthday. I was just seeing if she was like around. And then after that was COVID. <laughs> so you can imagine these things happen. Who knew? Who knew? Um, but it was literally like such a fun time. I feel like normally, you know, I get a little tired, you know, once midnight hits, I'm like, all right, like, come on, go. But I was like, wow, well, like, I don't even know what time it is, but we just had to keep an eye on the trains to get back. So literally, we're like, gotta catch this train. This is like literally the last train. And now, so we had to um, hop on at Jefferson Station. And sometimes, or actually like then, at least, I don't know what they're doing now, but there was kind of like construction, like, 
leading up to the outside. And then you know how sometimes with the train station and you're trying to get in that they only leave like one door open. So it's kind of like, it's just like a puzzle and you're trying to figure out, well, is it this door, you know, is it this door? And they were trying to open all these doors, no doors work, but we literally like hurtling over these like construction barrels. It was like insane. And um, I do remember now that I actually brought sneakers with me because I was like, fuck that, I'm not fucking walking in heels and doing that, I'm gonna break my ankle, break my face. So, so glad I had my sneakers on because I was able to like run, do a little hurdle and then find the right door, yeah. So, and we were just like, wow, like this was so fun. Like we still had like all this energy, like, ah, <laughs> but um, no. And then, I mean, who would have thought that in two, three months we would, you know, be on lockdown. So pretty wild. Um, so hopefully maybe 2021, I can kind of rekindle that friendship and yeah, because it stinks. It's like you just met someone new that you like you connect it with. And now it's like, well, see you in five years. Yeah. Um, so that was hilarious. Um, what about just like generally speaking, like when, you know, New Year's is it's coming up and you know now you're at your your destination maybe at someone's house or whatever like do you put on the tv is the tv on to like kind of capture like the night of like the rock and eve you know some ryan secrets or like what what do you have on because i mean i will say do i want to watch the entire night no i don't need to watch the entire night because i'm i'm mingling you know i'm having some champagne jello shots and my friends will tell you about that story um and um yeah just kind of like chilling and reminiscing and everything but I do like to have it on I would say maybe by 11 30 the very least yeah because I want to see the ball drop I'll say as far as I can remember, I have always seen the ball drop. Have you? Or are you one of those that like, you make it to like 11 o'clock and then you're like, I'm just gonna take a little baby nap. Yeah, skip the nap, right? Stand up and have another glass of champagne. Yeah, do it because YOLO. <laughs> um, okay, so I will also say, now I'm gonna take you back a little bit because I was just telling you about like the current years. Um, so I do remember like as a kid and growing up, we'd always go to our family friend's house um, in Upper Darby and it would always be like the best time. So these are friends of my mom's and she grew up with them as a kid and like all the other years and like they've always been in touch and all like best friends. So it's it's a lot of fun. And then they have kids. So, you know, around the same years as like my brother and I. So we would always go there and, you know, me being a tomboy, it's like, when am I ever like trying to like put on makeup as you know, a kid or like a preteen and like, you wouldn't catch me doing that. <laughs> but now if I'm kind of surrounded with like other girls that um, kind of like like that and then I'm like, oh, okay. And this actually kind of looks nice, you know? And then before I know it, I'm like, wow, look at this eyeshadow and so great. And you're just, putting it on, you know? And for you know, they're just like redoing your whole face. <laughs> like, you looked hideous before you came in here. Um, 
so so that was like a lot of fun I actually like enjoyed that so my like girly side was like coming out then even though I was like I play sports bitch um and you know then too I remember like having they had the tv on then and just having Dick Clark you know doing all the hosting so that was always like just something memorable um you know that would like always be there um and in the meantime of like the tv's on we're doing like our makeup we're listening to some music um and oh my god my cat's scared me she has her face like at the vent for the heat so i can show you real quick see in the corner <laughs> okay okay sorry 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 bringing it back so so yeah so then i just remember like all the adults are like bombs and like you know my like my mom would like have some my dad like doesn't really like he'll have like a couple drinks but like not nothing like crazy and even to this day i'm like dad i don't think i've ever seen you drunk like hello <laughs> Um, but they were just like, whoa. And as a kid, you knew, you knew, like, <laughs> they were doing shots in the closet or something because they were wasted. Yeah. So now if my mom's friends are listening to this or seeing this, um, oh, they'll probably be laughing. I hope so. Um, so, I'm just checking the time here for you guys. Um, but it was, like, just a trip to, to see them. And, you know, Sky and I would just, like, have the best time there. They had so many, so much good food. And then, wait, so I remember the adults, um, my cat again. I think she wants me to interview her. <clears throat> Moo. Meow, 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 meow. Not today, Moo. Not today. Um, but the the adults they brought out the Ouija board. I know. Yeah, so I know some people are like, Ouija board, oh, that's so fake. Like, but the things that they were, you know, what was happening, I was like, what are you guys doing? Like, are we going to see, like, a ghost now just, like, appear, like, just in the middle of the floor now? Because, um, you know, a lot of, like, their parents have, like, passed, so they were, like, kind of, like, remembering, like, their dads and and whatnot so um it was just like something it was kind of like creepy like to see and and also just like what are you guys doing <laughs> but um yeah it was always something like funny happening like at their house and it would always be at their house like every year um until maybe like I don't know, maybe until like we were older, like teenagers and or off to college or something like that. But always a good time. Um, so that was like definitely like a tradition, like every year. Um, and yeah, I mean, what 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 have you guys done? Like, do you typically go to like, um, do you spend it with your family for New Year's Eve or? Um, Maybe your grandparents, maybe your dog, maybe all of the above. That's pretty great. Yeah, yeah. Um, but and then I guess I will say like New Year's Day, like my parents would would make like the pork and sauerkraut because that's supposed to be good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Well, let me tell you, I made pork and sauerkraut on January 1st of 2020, and look where we are now. Never again. 
I even remember another time and I remember making it and then it was like a month later I got like a sinus infection I was like this is really good luck like why do I continue to do this so I need to think of something else what could we make Moo maybe some should we get Ellie Moan you think yeah do you think they'll be open probably not Gotta get that shit ahead of time. Gotta get ready. E, 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 e. But um, but obviously this year it's gonna be different. Um, I don't even know what we're doing. What is that? What could we do? I don't know. Sometimes all this Zoom gets like tiring. Like it's like I want to see you, and at the same time like another Zoom, another Zoom. Ow, Moo, she's scratching me. She's like, yo, oh, you were doing my interview, bitch. Not today, Moo, not today. So I'll just say that I think and hope that we'll, you know, enjoy the enjoy new year's like as much as we can in our own ways maybe yeah even though zoom is zoom and uh, but we can make it fun maybe we can like play a game or something like that or maybe we we will still get dressed up just to make it feel like you know special and you know do our own thing maybe get some streamers and sparklers and some decorations probably not but maybe yeah maybe um beep boop beep so i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do but I'm thinking I could wear that dress again, right? Maybe, maybe not. It's probably like, yo, you took me out and did some hurdling. Like I've had enough, had enough. I do want to maybe get a nice dinner, right? That would be fun. Get something local. Do it up that way. I saw um, on More Than The Curve, Bar Sarah was doing something. So I'll Spring Mill Cafe. Um, Peppercinis. I'm sure other places are doing something, right? But then you need to put, you gotta make sure you put your order in ahead of time. They're saying like, yo, you gotta do this by the, uh, December 28th, which is, which was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, because today is Saturday and here I am recording. Ah, 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 ah. Um, but anyway, what, how has, you know, 2020 been? Meh, yeah. I also can't believe 2020 is done. So I'm really hoping that, you know, 2021 brings us a little bit more joy and things to look forward to that I could actually plan because it has been killing me that I can't plan like I normally can for, you know, like a full on vacation. Um, just with like all the cases and then it's like, people got together, oh, now it spikes, oh, great. So it's like, all right, well, what can we do? I don't know. So hopefully we'll see some decreases. I don't know. I feel like coming off the holiday, probably not, like, I'm waiting for them to like extend um, all the gyms and stuff like that, like to beyond January 4th. There's no way. 
no way but we'll see i'm just hoping for just like a better year i mean could it get any worse at this point i don't think so i'm still gonna wait like a while plus i feel like for us and like us you know just regular people that aren't on the front lines um we're gonna have to wait a while anyway to get the vaccine um but but yeah i'm not gonna be like yeah sign me up sign me up no i want to wait so you gotta see how this is gonna be like really like affecting you with all the symptoms and um effects you know what uh, what's happening i don't know so beep, boop, beep, boop. so i hope you have a wonderful week and have a wonderful new year's eve and new year's day i hope 2021 is going to be awesome for everyone in many ways and i think we've had enough this year <laughs> so let's close this chapter out and oh my god no can you get down oh my god please whatever you do, do not step on my computer so yeah we're hope we're gonna close this out and it'll be wonderful so make sure you listen on the big dean podcast slash podcast and make sure you give me a little follow on instagram facebook and you'll have all the updates right there and all the silly like weird content will be on my coffee account so that's that little like coffee icon okay on my website okay so you want to stay on the website boom click on that there you go there you go. So you have all, everything, right? Everything there is right for you. And um, if you want to stay on, maybe go to the contact section. Give me a little, a little note. Send. Now I have your note. So I can answer any questions you have. Maybe you have an idea for 2021. But... Truly would love to hear your feedback. If you want to leave me a review, that'd be wonderful. And seriously, if you have any ideas um, as far as like, hey, he didn't like, really didn't like like any of your episodes, so you should probably stop recording. No, it's like, no, but really, but like, if you think like, eh, kind of would rather hear some of these topics versus these topics, you know? So, all right, well, enjoy the week. I will see you in... 2021. Woohoo! All right, my friends. Peace out.